Okay, YouTube, we are back, and I am ready to put on the Tengojo paper reinforcement on the back of Captain Ario. Now, in the past, what I've done is that I made a template of the book in order to get a, or a template, in order to get a proper measurement of the book itself. But I'm gonna do something different this time. And right here is the first wrap of the book, which obviously, as you can see, is no longer connected. So we're gonna have a lot of work to do on this book in relation to the wraps. But as a general rule, this is the width of the book because I am going to leaf cast it. Now, the tip was given to me by Kenny Sanderson and he uses actual clear process in order to measure the width and he was nice enough to tell me, I think he uses plexiglass. But what I'm gonna do is I am going to use my heavy glass to make sure that it doesn't move like it just did. So we're gonna try that again. Let me lift it. Maybe plexiglass is not too bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'll make it where it doesn't move. I'll put a piece of rame over it. So that's basically the width of the book, give or take some let me move it a little closer so that's what i want to work with okay so what i'm going to do is let's put the glass gently on if that could be done and that worked out better with the rame so right now as you can see we have our width now right here is the cover and let me put the cover on top now this is the reverse of the cover. So I was lucky enough to have it where it actually did work out for me. It worked out where when I glued those pieces on, they, they stayed and that is something that I am very happy with right now. So I am eyeballing it using the bottom first wrap as a gauge of the width of the actual book. And I want to make it where I have enough room to actually leaf cast because you don't want to be short with the leaf casting because then that's a problem. So that's lined up on that end. And you have to bear with me because this is a slow process. So there is actually, let's use my metal. This is one side, which I'm a little over. So let's line that up right there. And this may, this may be a boring part of the conservation, but it's a necessary part guys. And then we got this lined up pretty nicely. So there we go, there's the missing section of the inside of the cover. And that's pretty crazy, isn't it? A lot of the cover is missing, but that's not anything that we haven't dealt with in the past. We always deal with missing pieces and actually it's, pretty normal to me because if you work on books like this you're dealing with pieces of books that are missing so what I want to do is I want to level up the bottom as best as I can and that looks pretty good so I think I'm in good shape here guys just like this so what are we gonna do what I'm gonna do now is I just want to check it one more time 
and I, I think we're right on the money. So what are we gonna do now? What I wanna do is I wanna glue on a piece of the actual Tengojo paper. And before I do that, I want to wet the cover. And you guys might be saying, why are you wetting the cover? The reason why I'm wetting the cover is because I want to basically make sure that the cover does not move when I do this process. So that is enough water right there, hopefully. We'll let it sit. The first wrap is protected inside the glass because I use very little water. But what I wanna do is I wanna just dab the water that went on the glass. And now what I wanna do is I wanna work with the Tengojo paper. But before I do that, what I wanna do, excuse me, is I want to gently flatten out the cover. So the Tengojo paper will nicely adhere because we're gonna use the methyl cellulose. So this is very important, guys. I wanna slowly peel off the top layer of my Reme. Now, the Reme is something that with these older books, just because it doesn't stick, you still have to be careful in removing it because you can run risk of pulling the book out of whack. So right now we did that and it actually turned out quite well. So what I wanna do now is apply the Tengojo paper because this is the Tengojo paper right here. I have a pre-cut piece. So I'm gonna roll it up in a actual paper towel inner tube because I wanna slowly roll the Tengojo paper on. And I also want to apply the methyl cellulose. I don't wanna do it all at once. I wanna do it and take my time. So right now here is the Tengojo. I'm gonna place it on and that looks pretty good. What we'll do is I'll use my brush and gently brush it just like that. And then I'm gonna use a thick brush to apply the methyl cellulose. And people may be saying, you know what, this, I don't like this way you're conserving it. It's not the way I would do it. But listen, this is essential in my opinion because this book would not be able to be read without this type of application, in my opinion. So we're gonna do it. And it, it, I will lose a little bit of the graphics, uh, meaning that it will be a little hazy. There'll be a slight haze on it. But I'm okay with that because this book, if you looked at it wrong, it basically flakes apart. And what good is having a book like this if it flakes apart and it will just deteriorate in time? So this is the way we're going to do it. We roll one at a time. And then this is basically the foundation for the leaf casting because I will leaf cast it and then we'll have one solid sheet and I think it will be in a lot better condition than it was before. So right here, the bottom of this book is just all cracked and ripped and 
there's a lot of bad things on this book. It is moving a little bit, meaning that it's not 100% flat, but it will dry flat because once I'm done applying the Tin Gojo paper, I will actually put a piece of Rame on top and then we will dry it between my heavy glasses and it will dry nice and flat and then we'll be ready for the next step which is applying the paper pulp and I'm going to do a new process with the paper pulp by using Hollytex, which I'm still waiting for. I ordered it because the Hollytex, or at least the one that I ordered, is a lot smoother than the Rame that I've been using. And I wanna try to make it where the cast that I use in the leaf casting is thinner, or not thinner, it's smoother, excuse me. So right now this is working well in my opinion. I have to confess there was a slight little chunk of color that did come up when I lifted the area of the repair that I did. It's right there. A little piece of black came up, a tiny little speck, but it happens. You're not dealing with a book that is brand new and it happened and there's nothing I can do about it, but it was a tiny little speck. Sometimes things like that happen when you're doing it. So we'll flatten this out a little bit. And then I'll finish the methyl cellulose. And this is going to strengthen nicely the paper as well. At least a lot stronger than it was as if I didn't do the treatment. So there we go. Let me just gently... Make sure we have all of the methyl cellulose covering the book, and we do. So right there, guys, I am done. What I want to do is let's get rid of this Tengojo right here. So I'll lift it up and I'll run my razor blade through it. Actually, let's get rid of this. And we'll remove the excess. There you go. And we'll deal with that excess later. And there's the whole process. A reinforced cover that will make this a better book for the future and for future generations. Let's put a piece of Rame on top. Let's give it a nice brushing, smooth it out, the Rame. And then what I'm gonna do now is I am going to lift it up, just like that. Let's wipe down my sheet or my glass, and then I'm gonna remove the inner wrap, guys, and then I'll press it and let it dry with paper towels and then we'll remove the Rame and hopefully everything works out fine. So stay tuned and I'll do it in another upload. Thank you for watching. Take care. Okay guys, we are back with the Captain Ariel and last upload I performed the, or last segment of this upload, I'm sorry. I performed the Tengojo installation, and here is the result. The book now is secure. It is flexible. You can move it without fear of it breaking apart. As you can see, there is a slight haze over the back 
cover that cleaned up nicely. It widened out from the aqueous treatments. So I'm happy with it. But this book now I will be able to conserve where it can be actually read, flipped through, and all of that jazz. Now, just by way of example, this cover now can be flexed. And I don't wanna push it too far, but I'll be able to push it further after it's leaf casted. So I'm very happy with the Tengojo paper installation. I believe now that the pieces that did come off are connected securely with the Tengojo wrap on the back cover. And once we leaf cast all of the perimeter and the spine and we make it whole, this cover is going to be, in my opinion, one, like I always say, that could be utilized, could be read, could be flipped through. So next step in this installment or this series is we're gonna create a paper pulp and we're gonna try to match up the white, the base color as best as possible. And then we're gonna go right to the leaf casting. So stay tuned and thank you for stopping by.